A wealth of research over the last few decades has made a pretty convincing case that running in barefoot-like running shoes, also known as minimalist running shoes, may sustain better for injury prevention because these shoes help engage certain mechanical components that may help reduce a multitude of impact forces. Such low impact mechanical components often associated with running in barefoot-like running shoes includes forefoot striking, higher cadence, less ground contact time, and a shorter overstride angle, all of which add up to a contact with the ground that's so brief that certain impact force variables are either not fully produced or not produced at all, as compared with heel strike running and thickly cushioned running shoes. Another way minimalist running shoes could be very effective in helping minimize impact stress on the leg is by enhancing the functional role of the arch in acting as a shock absorber. The arch of the foot does have a functional role to play in running, such as contributing elastic strain energy, which can help raise energy efficiency, but it also has shock absorbing characteristics that can contribute a greater extent to helping safeguard the legs. However, rigid, narrow, conventional running shoes may lower or inhibit this functional use of the arch. To rationalize this, a 2014 study in the Journal of Athletic Training, which is linked down below this video in the description box, discovered that increased arch mobility during running may contribute to injury prevention because increased arch mobility when running was found to help lessen impact which also reduced compensatory mechanical work on the leg, meaning that because impact was reduced on the leg, the leg was no longer required to abruptly rotate or shift into misalignment to counteract any excessive impact. The compensatory mechanics that were reduced via increased arch mobility were excessive tibia or shin eversion, which means the shin no longer intensively turned outward, and tibia internal rotation excursion was reduced as well, which are known stressors linked to shin splints and runner's knee. Conversely, the study found that restricted arch mobility reduced arch compression, which made the arch very rigid. In this way, the arch could no longer adequately absorb impact, which led to higher rates of impact on the leg. As a result, there was more compensatory responses of the leg that caused the leg to excessively turn from its neutral line, which may also strain more muscles in the leg, suggesting that when the arch is rigid and too immobilized during running may actually lead to different varieties of opposing forces on the leg and may increase injury proneness. What corresponds well to this finding is that one way to ensure better arch mobility during running is to wear footwear that engages arch mobility, not restrains it. Footwear that's more ergonomic to the foot, like minimalist running shoes, because many functional features of most minimalist running shoes is that they are wide, fully flexible, and more in sync with the natural shape of the foot. Namely, there's a lot more room for the forefoot and midfoot to expand and flex, thereby enabling better arch mobility. And since there's more functional use of the arch, it may work more effectively as a shock absorber where uneven impact and stress on the leg may be minimized. Whereas a consistent consequence of stiff narrow running shoes is that the feet aren't really even engaged in a basic physical level. Notably, there's limited spatial ability for the arch to compress, bend and extend. And so arch mobility may be too restrictive and therefore, the arch may be less functionally active and absorbing impact. And this particular loss of function obviously doesn't improve the functional role of the arch to do its job effectively. It naturally follows that ongoing long-term use of stiff narrow running shoes may result in gradual deterioration of the arch, which could lead to more movement misalignments of the leg and foot during running of which may worsen as more and more external support is added. So I just thought it would be worth noting that running in certain forms of footwear may change the foot's internal structures in ways that may accompany the spread of more impact, which in turn may end up increasing mechanical demands on the leg or elsewhere on the body and helping to compensate for, whereas spending more time running in minimalist footwear may lead to more positive outcomes in injury prevention by actively stimulating more areas of the foot of which this ongoing engaging activity is something well known for the health and function of the foot to depend closely on. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, 
feel free to hit the thumbs up button as well as the subscribe button if you haven't already where you will stay more informed on the benefits of minimalist and barefoot running as well as more informed on heel strike running versus forefoot strike running. Thank you so much for listening and watching. Have fun out there on the roads and trails. Bye for now.